I know y'all over me, like that lady who was over the truth of that documentary. She was like, she played with Donna Dust at her own documentary. Y'all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe this week I'll tell you guys what's been going on. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Let's get to it! <laughs> it's more than a statement, it's a way. Alright guys, so, um, I know, I've been chat, you been talking about some, can we move on with the journey? Um, <laughs> I'm ready to get into some music too. Um, I understand that Madonna made a movie in 1992, it's called League of Their Own, uh, which is now, I guess, a show on Netflix, I haven't checked it out. Don't know if I'm gonna check it out. I guess I have to watch this movie to be the judge of that. But anyway, um... Here's a video. Uh, shout out to my boy Chris. Uh, he sent this over to me. It's uh, Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell. Um, I guess like on the set of the movie. But anyway, let's take a look. I figured I would uh, enlist, maybe get down here to be an extra this weekend. You know, that's the big thing. We're trying to fill the whole stadium, 5,000 worth this weekend. And uh, we have some people here. I don't know if you know any of these folks or not. Of course, we, we know Rosie O'Donnell. but doing, Jeff? And, and you're doing a little service uh, work this evening, I understand. Well, it's just my normal job here on the set, you know. Okay, who's your friend back here? All right, so Rosie O'Donnell, back story. Like, the first time I heard Rosie O'Donnell, um... She was on the Foster. Shout out to the Foster. Everybody watch the Foster. She was uh, like a foster mom or something, and her hair was gray. Her name is Madonna. Madonna who? Madonna, that's all you need to know. Oh, okay. Kind of like Cher or Liberace, something like that. Nothing like Cher or Liberace, but Liberace. Dang, she dissed her friend Cher. Yeah, Y'all remember Madonna? Cher was cool back in the 80s, right? Well, at least the mid-80s. Remember, Cher was kind of clout chasing at the wedding. Y'all know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. She's dead and Cher's, well, I don't want to talk about her. Okay, but Madonna is alive and well. and uh, She's right here, yes. Okay, does she have anything to say? Can you communicate with Elvis while we're doing this? Um, Madonna, Madonna said that Elvis is not on the agenda today. Uh, she likes you, Jeff. She loves the way you do the weather. You look just like Pee Wee Herman in a kind of a cute masculine way, and she hopes that you're free to go to Hobbs Steakhouse tomorrow night. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. We won't take in any movies then, uh, since I look like Pee Wee Herman. That could be uh, potentially dangerous. Very funny. Don't, don't, don't give you quit your day job. Okay. All right. Hang on here. We we need to get some more words from you. Does Madonna do the weather? Um, Madonna's never done the weather. There was one time in the early 70s that she did sports, but uh, she hasn't done it since. It was very difficult for uh, the audience to accept her as a sports caster. Okay, well, we'll let you get composed. Let, let me do the weather. You guys uh, figure out what you're uh, going to do. Excuse me. Her moods change like the weather. Oh, and she wanted me very to... good. Well, we have unchangeable weather, though, this weekend, so we actually should... So I guess, like, all stars, all big stars had these kind of interviews where <laughs> I've seen it where Prince had, like, something over his face, like a, a long stocking or something. I don't even know what to say. Like, when he could see his face and Someone was asked another question. I heard that in the early 80s, before Thriller maybe, um, or right with those taking off, Michael had Janet answering questions uh, <laughs> for him. All right, anyway, this is interesting. It'd be in pretty good shape for Madonna and her, uh, you have 10 personalities, right? 12. 12 personalities. We've just added two uh, right here on Channel 14 for uh, all the folks involved. Hey, outside right now we have decent weather. It's 72 degrees. And uh, do we have a wind chill factor today? Uh, it's very windy and very chilly in her trailer. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, we, we could probably fix that. Uh, we're going to send Mike Blake down very soon, or Dan Katz. Or I somebody love Mike. Can... Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, she loves Mike as well. Oh, okay. Well, we have a whole family affair going here. Well, let's get the currents out of the way, okay? we got to do that for, course, for our weather, for our diehard weather people who don't know about the movie going on out here. The uh, high temperature today was uh, a... Gr Everyone to come to the uh, field tomorrow. We need 5,400 extras, and she will be performing a concert at lunch. <laughs> okay, well, we'd like to start out with uh, Borderline and, uh, and uh, you know, okay, well, now we're going to get some Over secrets. Over your dead body, Jeff. Uh-oh, well, that could probably be arranged, too. I don't let oh, our boss hear about that. <laughs> All right, let's give the forecast real quick, and then uh, we'll let Rosie, Rosie talk with a little more here. You haven't talked that much today, you know, really. This evening, the forecast goes something like this. Uh, we're looking... 
Well, at least the weather was good, right? It wasn't like scorching hot when it was filming this movie. For temperature, uh, probably in the middle 60s for the most part, and uh, we should have uh, very clear skies again tomorrow with uh, probably a high of around 75 degrees, and then tomorrow night, uh, again, it should be clear with a low around 43, and uh, by the time we get on into Sunday, it'll be nice with a high temperature of 75. Yes, ma'am. She, she was wondering if perhaps maybe after you're done with the weather, you and her could go get a nice glass of Evian somewhere. Oh, Evian. Okay. Well, we'll try to do that. Are, are you serious about this? Or Now, is Rosie coming along? No. Um, she wants to know if you have a bottle of Evian. It's just sort of a reference to her film. <laughs> <laughs> we're fresh out. Uh, we're fresh out. However, however, we do have a Channel 14 autographed Frisbee from David James and Mike Blake. Would that we do? have been wanting one of those, haven't we? Okay, if you guys will come back yes, at... she said. If you guys will come back at 6 o'clock, I'll hand over the goods. We will, Jeff. We promise. Don't we? Don't we? Oh, come on, Madonna. Go in for it. You're she fun promises. loving, all American. I love baseball. I love the people of Evansville. Okay. What's Evansville? Try the comments down below. Shout out to everybody in Evansville. <laughs> well, Mike, I think the whole thing is going to right. Madonna, not even a peep on the air here. Mike Blake would really love to hear your voice. Just, just sing a, sing a line from a song. Come on, Hulk. Let your body move to the room. All right. Well, Mike, uh, the whole thing has gone awry here. Thank you both, though. This is a very nice little uh, combo. Hey, well, this is the first, Jeff. At least you got her on the, uh, on the two. Yeah, they're gonna, you guys are uh, playing at Hagedorn's Tavern tonight. At, no, no. This, it's a joke. It's a joke. They're not really going to be there. We don't need a crowd down there. So, uh, what, is, what is Hagedorn's Tavern? <laughs> we'll tell you at six. Is it a strip bar? We'll see you at six o'clock. Uh-oh. Oh, Mike, help. They're yeah. getting me. Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell. Ah! Jeff, we'll see you at 6 o'clock. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> they get to Rosie Chill. Huh? <laughs> I even though she was never in the 90s. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is pretty, like, silly, I guess. Uh, but, you know, it's cool. Uh, so, it looks like this movie, they're going to be playing baseball. I can't imagine, like, we've done it at the week. But, uh, yeah, I've got to check it out. But, again, like you guys, I'm ready to get back to the music, too, so... Hopefully on the soundtrack she got a song. We can listen to a song or a couple of songs. She's the whole soundtrack. I don't know, but uh yeah, check the comments down below. Like what did you get from this interview? Like, I didn't really get much, right? Uh except again, like people were really excited to be around Madonna and uh yeah. <laughs> they was gonna do silly stuff around her. Uh all right, check the comments down below. Also, if you have already make sure you subscribe to my channel, if you are subscribed, make sure you join the channel. And if you like the need to get to some good choice you to do, give a picture on the link is below. Last but not least, make sure you check out some Empress merch. You can get this happy stuff that on. That link is also below. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.